AJRJTJ. Motherfucking changes were made. We got ball on the team, and I am really excited to get this year started. I haven't played this game in a long time, so I've been waiting a long time to get this season underway, and I went ahead and signed uh, what I needed to sign, so let's just take a quick over look at this. So it's actually quite an interesting situation. Uh, we got McDavid signed to the end of time. Patrick is signed for a long time. We got Alexander and Ball next year. So this, this is a big year for us because uh, people are going to be gone at the end of this year. Um, but the decision, they're like, there's three huge contracts right there we got to do at the end of the year. Fucking Alexander, Ball, and Morgan Riley all needing contracts, and they're all still pretty young guys. You know, Alexander's 25, Ball's 25, and Morgan Riley's only 27. So, and I signed Lil Jagrin to a long-term contract. I am putting the chips on Lil Jagrin. This guy is going to be our offensive defenseman for the future. He's going to be with Morgan Riley. So I went big and I got him for under five million, which is pretty good. He's not locked up for six years. So he's with Pooja Jarvi, and that's a, he's he's longer than McDavid. So there you go. He is locked up. Uh, I signed Larson for only two years. He's probably going to get traded at the end of the year. Because I got other defensemen coming up through, so he's going to be uh, an expendable person at the end of the season. So that's definitely one. He's for sure gone. Uh, Ehlers is probably he might be gone now. We'll have to wait until uh, we get to uh, once the players progress throughout the off season. We'll have to see who actually progressed. But he's still locked. He's locked up for a long time, so he's he's definitely still movable. He's still young, dude. He's only 25. It's crazy. Darnell Nurse is still. Uh, I signed Hutton to two years, 2.4. Sure, I locked up. I feel like this guy's gonna be here for a long time, so I just gave him the big contract. He's gonna, he's not gonna play for the full eight years, but he's gonna play like five years because he's really good defense, really solid defense, and I think he'll stay around for a long time. So I like him. I uh, Do Doherty signed for two years as well. He's a big question mark. Defense is a huge question mark because, like, holy crap. Um, before I go into the defense, uh, Sheehan I locked up for eight years as well, just so I could save some money. As you can see, we only have one million dollars in cap space, so it's a very tight situation. Chukrin, now, his contract was up, I offered him eight years, and he still only won like 1.5 million, so it looks like this guy's a bust. Um, we'll see if that's true over the offseason, see if he jumps at all. I'm rather a genius on this, or he's gone or I'm going to trade his ass away because I have other defensemen that can, that'll be better than this guy. But I gave him an eight-year contract, $1.3 million, so it's an easy contract to move, and if he turns out to be good, it's a brilliant fucking contract, man. And then we got this new me guy. I don't know what the hell he's about, but he's like, okay. And then this Franza guy, he's the one I think we draft first overall. He's going to be coming up to the team this year. Uh, that Keguiala guy, I think his name is... Uh, I watched an Edmonton Oilers game and I heard his name and I don't remember how to say it, but it's weird. He's not going to be on the team anymore. We got other guys. I think Franz is going to be taking the spot. Brandstrom here, I think, is actually going to be making the team because look at that passing puck control, 90s. <coughs> Offensive awareness is 90. The rest of his stats are crap, except for his speed. Oh my god, that head comes a little bit there. But yeah, this guy is... Uh, he will get points so um, I think he'll make the team uh, just depending on uh, if these other defensemen don't turn out I'm I think Chukrin is a bust sadly which really sucks but uh, and then there's Butte Boom 78 overall first overall pick oh my god he's got 88 offensive awareness hey this guy could be good this guy could be I don't think he's gonna make the team yet it's only 78 but we'll see offseason is gonna be very interesting so hopefully guys jump and then the goalie situation here we go so Valentanko, I'm putting the chips down on him as well. It's 23, 85, elite potential. I gave him five, just over five million dollars. I think it was like, a, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven-year contract for him. And then this Vettel line, and he won four million dollars, but I gave him a one-year deal for uh, 2.275 there because I couldn't afford to give him any more, and I didn't. I, I need I need a goalie that can like back him up so that we have two starters going in so the goalie situation hopefully will we'll see if one of them jumps so that's very exciting but now that that is taken care of we can go to the free agency I don't think I'll be able to do anything really so but we'll at least get to see what's going on there so sim the free agency I'm done with my contracts I don't give a shit none of you guys made my team I'm very sorry that Keguela guy wasn't actually that bad he stuck around a lot longer than I thought he would 
Okay, so your San, uh, San Jose won the cup. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video, but yeah, they won the cup. God damn it. Okay, free agency. Here we go. Let's check it out. See what's out there. If there's like a massive fish out there, which should probably will. Oh. Ryan Johansson's the biggest one out there. You know, he's only 89, 28 years old. I'm not that interested. Not really seeing anything interesting. Okay, let's just get out of the unrestricted free agents, please. That's it. Eh, I don't see anything here that we really need to go after. Like, it'd be nice to have Vlasic on the team, but he's 34, so it's really no point going after him, saying stall. And I don't have the money for them anyway. So let's sort by team interest and see if there's any of these young guys. I'm just going to sign them because I have a ton of room. So I'm just going to sign a bunch of these guys, like anyone that's... Okay, yeah, this guy's a 77 overall already, so... Right wing power forward. Right? He's, got some, he's got a good shot on, so let's give him a contract as well. I'm going to steal him away from Winnipeg. Um, a lot's going on in the playoffs since I last done one of these videos. It's uh, Now it's the third round. Fucking Ottawa made it. Oh, the friggin... And those poor capitals, poor capitals. I don't know if I can feel bad for them anymore because they're kind of their own, they're their own biggest enemy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, anyway, back to that. I gotta, I gotta focus. This is important. I can't talk about hockey. I will do that one. Anyway, I don't see anything too interesting here. I don't know. I might just sign some of these guys that are higher overall <clears throat> just because I need some depth. Like this guy, two way, sure, I'll give you a contract. Horrible, and you still got. And how about this guy? I'll give you a contract too, just for some AHL depth because I know uh, they're not very good. Tramp kid, damn, he didn't get any good today. He's only a 79. He still wants 3.5 million dollars. Holy shit, that's crazy. Okay, that's definitely not gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's a 20 year old Kulikov. Okay, we'll sign him. Anyone that's like you know 20 years and younger and in the 70s, not 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 a bad option, you know. This guy's 69. Uh, okay, goalies. Let's just see if there's anyone interesting out there. Usually never any goalies out there. Sometimes you see them, but very rarely you don't. And another year goes by. Oh, but this one's a 77. He's only 21. Guam. Wow, give him a contract. Just in case my two goalies I have up here don't turn out, and this guy turns out to be something. Maybe it's a genius move. And is there any big fish goalies out there? Bobrovsky? Oh, Dubnik and Mrazik. Interesting. Uh, I can't afford Dubnik, so yeah, there's no nothing tempting enough for me to go after in free agency. So now, this is the fun part. Now we're gonna go uh, simulate through the off season, and then we'll see how good our players are gonna get. And this is a very important year. So okay, send to next season, please. Yeah, man, big season. Okay, so we got that dude. And let's just make sure these other dudes... Yeah. Oh, one rejected. That's fine. Whatever. You're a bitch. Yeah. Big season for us, though. So we have quite possibly the greatest first line... Well, it is, without question, the greatest first line in this in this GM mode. I don't know if it's the greatest one I've ever put together of all time. It very well could be because of McDavid. McDavid's just... He's the best player in the game. Like, he gets better than Crosby. But, you know, there are... There are um, players that do get drafted that get to like 98, 90, I don't think I've ever seen a 99. I've seen 99 goalie, but not 99 overall players. I've seen 98, that's as high as I've ever seen a player get. But uh, yeah man, I think this could be the deadliest first line I've ever put together. And we're gonna have to see, actions speak louder than words, so I want to see fucking at least 40 goals from, it'd be nice to see it from Ball, because that's what he's here for, is to score a goal, so I, want, I would like to see 40 goals from someone, possibly all three of them. Could you imagine? 100 points from these guys is what I imagine the professionals would be predicting for a line with such offensive talent. McDavid, Alexander, and Ball. I think that's how it's going to go down. We're going to. I'm probably going to build the lines in this uh, episode, but we're not going to do any simulating. Oh man, I'm so excited. Yeah, we're definitely going to put the lines together. But this takes so fucking long, it's ridiculous. But yeah, anyway, the NHL playoffs, third round, as uh, it starts tonight. Uh, Anaheim versus it's uh, Nashville. Very good. I, I'm I'm behind Nashville. I think right now because just because of the PK Subban thing, and I really don't like Montreal. So anything to make Montreal fans angry, I'm I'm gonna get behind that. So PK Subban winning the cup, the cup his first year away from Montreal would be a just just beautiful. But then like the Senators are there, and that's like I hate the Senators, but I like respect like. 
the fact that they got to the third round, which is really, really impressive. They really rallied behind like Craig Anderson, which is really cool. I like I'm I'm digging Craig Anderson, but all the things that the sense done to my leaves, I just I can never let it go. So I can't really be rooting for them. So I guess I gotta go Penguins. Uh, for that series anyway, but overall I think Nashville should win the cup because Penguins got theirs last year and Nashville's never had a cup and I want to see a team, a team that hasn't won the cup win a cup. Okay, it's time. Let's look at the lines. Let's see what's what's going on here. Let's see if anyone progressed. That's awesome. Okay. So, we got McDavid a 95 and I don't know if I, I don't think I've done that yet, but Nolan Patrick is getting the C this year. And he will be playing the second line center, but he's going to be the first line power play specialist because his offense awareness is Look at that, 96, oh my god. Kyle Alexander is a 91, but Pulte Jarvi is a 89. Okay, so we see anybody here? Okay, so a lot of them are probably still in the HL. Okay, the suspense continues. And the defense, oh my god. Okay, Chukrin didn't get any better, so I think I'm going to have to trade this motherfucker. Seven years I got him for, and he's probably going to stay at like an 81, 82 at best. So this guy looks like he's pretty done in rings. There you go, Lodrigan got a little bit better. There you go. He's got the 90 offensive awareness, fantastic pucks. Oh my god, and that shot is coming around. That slap shot power is really, and the accuracy is really good. So he can put the goals in the net. He just doesn't have a good wrist shot yet. Very quick. His defensive uh, stats are okay. Shot blocking is not there, but he's here for for points. We need this guy to get the assists, and we need we need to get uh, I guess some goals. You know, I like I like these guys. These offensive awareness, if they get like 10 or more goals on. And then this Dobierty guy got a little better. He was an 82. He's now an 84. Top 6, 83, 80, 87 on the defensive side. He's got really good shot, though. Damn. Look at that. 99, 99 on the power. So powerful. Oh, my God. But his offensive awareness is great. But he's not bad. He's an 84. So, okay. Now the goalies. Oh, God. I hope. I just want one of them to be 87. I'm not looking. Okay. I'm looking. Oh, he did get to 87. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, fantastic. All right, he got a little bit better. That's good. So this contract right here, this guy just gets like two points better. Oh, it's going to be beautiful because then he would have wanted like seven or eight million dollars. So if he was 87 when he wanted his contract, he would have been a lot more money than what I got him for. So just over five million dollars for an 87 overall goalie and we got him for seven more years? Looking pretty good on paper. Let's see that uh, reflexes. Okay, so we got... All right, it's looking really good. Glove high is a 90, glove low 92, 92, and 89 for stick low. Those are all really high, so it should be a good simulation goalie. His five holes a little weak, but how often do you see five hole goals in this game? All right, so now we got some big questions here. The AHL squad, what does it look like? Oh my, okay. Okay, so Fran's in the 83, he's going to make the team. That's good enough. He's a depth, his list is at that four, but this guy, okay, that's good. So he can play fourth line, third line, switch it around, and he'll be happy. But he will be getting better throughout the season. So look at that. Okay, let's see. Let's look at that. I don't like that wrist shot out here. Let's see, for a sniper, it's not very good. But it's got a lot of power. So hopefully that progresses better. His offense awareness is okay. This guy's looking like he could be a uh, you know, second liner, maybe a really good third liner if we... Uh, but uh, as it looks, this guy might be taking a bigger role, so hopefully he can get a little better than this. But so far, so good. You know, at least he's getting better. And then Butte Boom is an 80, but look at that offense. Where is a 90? Ooh, this guy's a land scoring for What should we do with him? Oh, man. I'm confused. He's got one more year. I don't know if I should probably... I should probably keep this guy down in the minors. We'll just have to see how the lineup's set. Okay, and then the defense. Okay, what happened there? What the fuck is that? Fucking Ty Smith didn't get any better yet. He's only 21. He's good enough. On his leg. He's good enough to play. But this brand, where's that Brandstrom guy? He must still be up here. Let's go to the Yeah, Brandstrom 8. 92 offensive awareness, man. Oh man, I like that. I think this guy's gonna make the team, and we're gonna say goodbye to Chukrin because, man, I just there's no point keeping him because he's just not gonna get any better, and he's just a waste. We're wasting time on this guy when we should be playing other defensemen that could actually be getting better, like this Brandstrom guy. I have I have a good feeling about him. I've seen him put up good points before when he was like a 70, 77 overall. I had him as a depth defenseman for injuries, and he came in and just did the work, man. He did a good job, so I think that's how that's going to be. So Chuck Wins will probably get traded here. Well, I think he's gonna be. That's, that's it. Because I don't really have any more options. So France is going to make the team. Butte Boone's probably going to stay down here. One more year, and then the Butte Boom will be released. I think that's gonna, that's gonna happen. Okay, so let's go to roster moves. Let's figure out who makes the team and who doesn't. 
Oh man, I was hoping for like a little bit better, but the goalie thing was is the best thing. At least that's the most important thing. We need that goalie to be getting better. If we can get him up into the 90s, and I think we very well could. Could be a really good situation for us here. Okay, so Benson, you're at his yaw, you don't make the team. Got Branstrom, your key for a minute. You need to call. Okay, so we need to call. Franz and makes the team on DP, and that's it, right? The goalies is up. 78. 77 days. I don't know. They're just. I think one is actually. He might be uh, listed. Uh, his potential might be a starter. Actually, let's, let's just take a look and figure it out. This is the guy I think we draft. Uh, I picked him up in free agency. This is the other guy. Yeah, he's got a medium starter. I picked him up in the fourth round. Could get good. He could get good. All right. Keep an eye on him. What's his name? Bernie Strong. I, I will not. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, Really, all I need. Can and so then Muni can go down. Shiprin is going to get traded, which means I need a four. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so Shiprin's, Shiprin's done in ranks. That's it. Branstrom is better than you, and then we'll need a forward. So One more forward, and oh, it could be Butte. But I don't know, there's just really, he doesn't fit in yet. He's not, like, they have better, oh, but he's got that really good offense. I think he'll benefit better from one year down in the minors, and then he won't, hopefully, he won't progress how old he will. He's only 21. Okay, right. Butte stays down. Okay. Best uh, lines for right now. And let's see what kind of forward we're going to be looking for to make a trade for. And then hopefully we'll just be able to get it done straight up. Chuck in for some sort of good defensive-ish forward, probably. Okay, what do we got here? So we got Hudden, Sheehan, and Brandstrom as a forward now. Because that could actually be a maybe down the road. Who knows? Could work. He could be a great playmaker. But anyway, uh, so... Branstrom off there. We need like a fourth liner, probably. Ooh, does Ehlers stay though? I guess Ehlers gonna have to stay here for another year. That's fine. Keep him there because these guys, these two are definitely our uh, at least three right here. Our power play or penalty kill specialists. That is the nastiest top six. Look at that. Good lord. It's gonna look a little bit more like this. I was thinking about. Hold on, let me look at the Jarvie. Okay, hold on. And then Drysidel has to sell. I was thinking maybe putting Drysidel here. But then that's, and then we can do something more like this, because Ball's got to be on the first line. I'm sorry, but uh, that's for, that's for certain because he's the goal scoring king here. So we need this guy to get the ball. Goal. Kyle Alexander has the 91, but Nolan Patrick has a way better off than the 96. So Drysdale pull Jeremy Kyle Alexander would be pretty nasty. So we could switch Drysdale to center. Or we can just put Kyle back to center. He's got the 91 for faceoffs, so that makes a little more sense. Keep Puljarvi there on the right wing. Kyle Alexander is the second line center. It doesn't look bad. Chian, Hudden, Franzen. Okay, I'm filling that. That four right there with the 86. I think that can work out pretty good with Ehlers and Shore. And Shore doesn't really have much for offense, but none of these guys really do. Hudden. Hudden's pretty good. Maybe we'll put Hudden there instead for that third line. And then Brainstorm will be on the defense, and the defense looks like this. With Morgan Riley and Wilderman together. Do I like that? Of course I like that. A lefty and a righty. Righty. Right. Sure. That's pretty good. Is uh, Brainstorm a righty or a lefty? I think he is. Ooh, he's a lefty. That's perfect, I think. Right? Is that perfect? Perfect. Awesome. All right, so we got our perfect replacement. Um, I'll, uh, ooh, okay, yeah, I won't be, I won't do it in this video. I'll scout out a trade. I might just make the trade because it's not going to be all that important. It's just going to be for like a fourth liner, possibly throwing in a little pick. Uh, I don't think Chukran's going to have all that much value, but in the next episode, I have the line set, and we will start the season in the next episode. I can't.